Waking Up by Andrea J. Buchanan. Between living and dreaming, there's a third thing. Guess it. Antonio Machado. Chapter 1. For as long as I can remember, I have felt something in my chest. A lightness, a flutter, a visceral ache, when something nears its end. I feel it when I'm about to say goodbye to someone, even when I know I'm going to see them again soon. I feel it when I reach the part in the story where everything starts to come together, and I know it's just a matter of time until it's over. I feel it when my mom says goodnight and walks out of the room, her back facing me as she departs. There is an edging towards something final about it, about all of these almost endings, and my heart strains and races until I could swear I can actually feel it swelling. This feeling doesn't only announce itself at important times, obvious moments when something is ending, something is beginning. I feel, it in the, I feel it in small moments, too, when I see the lonely blink of the cursor on my screen, when someone closes the door as they leave the room. I feel it at the end of a data transmission on the ultranet, at the end of dinner, at the song, end of a song, at the end of a sentence. Endings are hard for me, I guess, because what comes next? But this feeling in my chest, this longing, it's not exactly unpleasant. I don't feel sad. I don't even actually feel bad. It, I just feel this itchy emptiness, this restless sense of needing to wander that fills me up for just a moment before, like the very events that triggered it, it ebbs away. I'm feeling it now. I ache with it. I'm suspended in a permanent ending, and so I am bathed in longing. But now this longing has a point. It isn't the shapeless pain of knowing something is about to be over. It's the pointed, focused pain of not knowing when the end will come. I am floated, captured here, waiting, and the feeling in my chest 